yeah, it just swelled up and then you know, I had to do everything I can to get it down and less painful. Jim did in the game? Yep. In the Miami one. Miami. Was there, were there any like tests or x-rays or anything like that? Everything came back negative. And you, is, is it braced and are you hiding it from us? No, I'm icing it. I just, <laughs> I got, just icing it. My bad. Still, still doing the maintenance on your foot, or is that completely? I mean, it's, it's, it feels better. Um, I do stuff just to kind of just keep it going, but uh, it feels great. Obi plays. I mean, production aside, Obi just stylistically is very different mm -hmm. than Julius. He he's an off-ball cutter, and he likes getting out in transition, and he's not going to go one-on-one -on -one as often as Julius is. All that kind of stuff. Do you guys have to change how Julius because he's so important to you? Is such a fabric of how you mm -hmm. operate, right? Do you guys have to change stylistically how you operate if like Obi's in there instead of him? I think for us is everyone has to be themselves. Um, don't try and be someone you're not. And uh, I just think, like I said, it's a collective effort. You know, Julius plays a unique style of basketball. Um, we have guys who play differently but are still very effective. So we just got to be different. I mean, be ourselves and uh, not really be Julius. You know, Julius brings a whole different dynamic to our team. You know, we just got to be ourselves and just help each other out. You mentioned the timing of the injury, um, how it's bad timing. It, can you guys figure out a way to rally around this somehow? I mean, this is the most important stretch of the season, and maybe it bleeds into the playoffs. How do you guys kind of rally around this situation? Yeah, we um, keep his spirits up, you know, mm -hmm. make sure that he's focusing on getting back as healthy and as fast as he can. And um, I think for us, let's go out there and just try to win ball games. You know, it's a next man up mentality. And um, for us, it's, it's a group effort, so it's, um, Nothing really changes but besides the fact that he's not playing tonight, so we just gotta keep it going. How you guys have his spirits played? been the last couple of days? Excuse me? How have his spirits been the last couple of days? Uh, I, I text him and uh, his, his spirits are high and uh, I, I think like I said before, you know, he's a fighter, he's gonna try and get back as healthy as he can, as fast as he can. And um, I mean I, I, he's he's a warrior, you know. You know how he is when he answers questions and he's very, you know, Straight face, monotone, but I mean, he's a, he's a great teammate, great guy to be around, so um, nah, he'll be back. When you see him not able to get up the other day, he's a guy like you. I mean, he's played 81 games, 71 games almost every year. Mm -hmm. Are you, is it almost hard to process that he's hurt, that he's out? Uh, yeah, it's it's not the best feeling in the world, but um, I tried to tell him, you know, quickly like, walk it off, walk it off, see how he was, and he just he didn't get up right away, so I kind of know that it was. No, it was a bad, and um, but I mean, he's fine. And I, I, <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I, he's a warrior. He'll, he'll be fine. What do you think of him shooting the free throws after the injury? Now that you know it was like a serious thing. Good. <laughs> we told him to shoot the free throws. <laughs> I mean, just in case he was good. Um, he walked off the court. He can't can't come back. So. Uh, uh, we did our best to kind of convince him to shoot those free throws. No matter if he missed or made them, to give him a chance, to give him an opportunity to come back if he could. You guys have out. operated all year with so much confidence in your half-court offense, and you've been really good in your half-court offense. And mm -hmm. part of the reason for that is because Julius is really good in the half-court offense. Do you do you feel like with him not there, there's more of an impetus to maybe push off of stops than there would be when he's on the court? Um, I think most importantly, we got to be ourselves. Uh, as team, as our, however, team is built on the court. Those five on the court just be themselves. And um, obviously, Julius is great in uh, half court. He's great in the transition. But um, whatever your style of play is on the court, just be that person and be to the best of your abilities. I mean, times with have I, you heard Tibbs say you have more than enough to win. A million times. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. Was it, was it extra in the last couple of days because of what happened? Um. No, it's about the same. It's about the same. It's about the same. <laughs> Tom went with a smaller lineup in the fourth quarter mm -hmm. the other night. How do you feel like Hart and RJ can kind of handle that, that role if they need to play it? Yeah, I mean, they can do whatever they need to do. Uh, they've, they're basketball players. And um, can we do this somewhere else next time? Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, now they're basketball players, and um, I mean, they're going to create mismatches when they're on the court. I mean, it, it is what it is. And I mean, depends on how another team matches up with it. You get, I mean, it looks like that the Cleveland is going to be the first round matchup just based on how things are shaking out. Mm -hmm. when, it, when you have a game like this, this late in the season, do you look at it like, hey, this is a preview of what, what when games are more important? Or how do you kind of view that? Um, 
I view this as you know, our fifth to last game of the season. And um, our most important game is our next one.